Welcome. My name is John McGowan. I am the CEO for the Alberta Urban Municipality Association, AOMA. During our 2009 annual convention, AOMA members adopted a water conservation efficiency and productivity plan. As part of this plan, AOMA members agreed to the following short-term target. By December 2010, all urban municipalities with water systems will report water use through Alberta Environment's online water use reporting system, WERS. This video provides first-time users with a simple guide on how to use WERS. WERS helps implement Alberta's Water for Life strategy by providing a better understanding of water use in the province. The advantage of online reporting versus paper reporting include a common method of reporting for all water users, ease to access information on water use, and ability to measure progress in water conservation. Currently, many municipalities report water use through paper copy, with less than 30% of municipalities reporting online. AUMA would like to do better. As leaders in water management, AUMA challenges municipalities to set an example for other water users by reporting online. This video has been produced in partnership with the Alberta Environment and the Alberta Water Council. AOMA appreciates this partnership on water-related initiatives. Thank you. Welcome. My name is Meredith Walker with the Alberta Water Council and I will be your guide for this video. This video is intended to provide first-time users with a step-by-step -step guide on how to access Alberta Environment's electronic water use reporting system. In this video, I will guide you through the steps to getting set up to reporting your water use online through the water use reporting system. I will first show you how to get to the online system from Alberta Environment's website. Then I will walk you through six steps for obtaining an Alberta Secure Access Service user ID and password, which you will need to access the WERS. Next, I will show you how to enroll in the WERS. Lastly, I will show you how to report your water use in the system. The content of this video is also available in a PDF document to help you. To begin, users will require a personal computer with internet access and the documentation supplied to you from Alberta Environment or your license administrator. This documentation should contain a PIN number and a temporary enrollment ID. The temporary enrollment ID may also be referred to as the license group number. To get started, you'll need to first open a web browser and navigate to Alberta Environment's homepage shown on this screen. From there, users will follow a few links to arrive at the Water Use Reporting web page. These steps are provided on this slide for your future reference, but we'll walk you through them one by one. Contact information regarding your enrollment ID and PIN number will be shown in the final screens of this video. Please note that once you start the registration process, you will need to complete the process all at once as the information cannot be saved and the system will time out after a while. Here is Alberta Environment's homepage. At the top of this page, you will need to click on the Water tab, which is circled in red. On the Water page, you will then need to click on Report slash Data in the left-hand column. Then. Click on the Water Use Reporting System from the drop-down menu under Reports and Data. Finally, scroll to the bottom of the page and click on Submit Data. A disclaimer pop-up window will now appear. The disclaimer page provides a brief introduction and says that by using the Water Use Reporting application, the user is agreeing to the conditions stated. You should take the time to read and make sure you understand the conditions for using the site. If you accept the user consent conditions, click on the Accept button at the bottom of the screen and you will be directed to the Alberta Secure Access Service site 
which will provide you with entry to the online water use reporting system. You will now be at the Government of Alberta Secure Access Service log on slash registration page. The Alberta Secure Access Service manages user access to a number of provincial government data systems, including the water use reporting system. Therefore, accessing the system involves two steps. First, getting your user ID and password, and then enrolling in the water use reporting system. If you already have a user password and identification, enter them in the appropriate boxes and click on Login. If you have not enrolled in WORS, you can do so after you've logged in. If you do not have a user or password and identification, you will need to obtain one to formally introduce yourself to the system and enroll in the water use reporting system. Click on the gold colored box at the bottom center that says click here to register to get started. Once you have registered, you will not need to do these steps again. You can simply enter your user ID and password to access the system. There are six steps to follow to register and enroll in the water use reporting system. Step one of registration is to review and accept the privacy notice. Please read and familiarize yourself with the privacy notice, and if you agree, click on the I agree button to continue. The I disagree button will exit you from the Alberta Secure Access Service registration process and return you to Alberta Environment's homepage. Your ability to access and enter water use data in WORS will not be realized if you disagree. However, you are still required to submit water use data via paper copy as per your water license conditions. Step 2 involves entering your personal information. The items with a star beside them must be entered in order to proceed. If you have questions about the information being requested, the Help button located at the top right hand side of the screen will provide you with some additional information. Once you have entered your information, click on the Next button to continue. Step 3 involves entering your contact information. Again, the items with the star beside them must be entered in order to proceed. Click on Next once your information is correctly entered. Step 4 involves entering security information. The site first will ask you for the answers to a number of challenge response questions. These questions are vital to verifying who you are. It is these questions that will be asked of you if you need to reset your password. Fill in your answers and proceed to the password section. At this point, you will need to create your password. There are several rules for deciding on a password. The password cannot contain your first or last name, must contain at least one number, one uppercase letter, one lowercase letter, and can only be between 8 and 40 characters long. Decide on a password and enter it in twice, once in the password box and then again in the confirm password box. Once this is complete, select the next button. Step 5 will provide you with your user identification. This system generated user identification along with your password will allow you to access the system in the future. Make sure you print this screen for future reference as the user ID screen is only displayed once and you will need the user ID for future logons. Click on enroll in a service if you wish to enroll in the WOR system at this time. If you select logout, you will not be enrolled in the WOR system. You can always enroll in WORS at a later date using your password and user ID to log in to the Alberta Secure Access Service. We'll continue as though you've selected Enroll in a Service. Step 6 involves enrolling in WORS. When this form opens, the system automatically defaults to the Alberta Electronic Health Record. Change this by clicking on the circle beside Water Use Reporting. Then click Next. At this point, you will need to enter the PIN number that was either supplied to you from Alberta Environment or from your license administrator. The PIN number is case sensitive and must be entered exactly as it appears on the documentation. Then you will need to enter your temporary enrollment ID found on the same documentation. Please note that this may also be referred to as the license group number on that documentation. Finally, enter your preferred email address and then again in the next box. It is important to know that each preferred email address must be unique when enrolling in the WORS system. No two users may have the same email address. One other very important tip to note is that the PIN number and temporary enrollment ID used here can only be used once. 
so for this reason click the OK button instead of choosing to close the screen by any other means. If you close this screen at this point, then the system will not let you successfully enter the WARS system until another PIN number and temporary enrollment ID is entered. A new PIN number and temporary enrollment ID must be acquired from Alberta Environment if you are the license administrator or from your office administrator. So, enter the information carefully and click on Enroll without closing your browser window. Once enrolled in WARS, the WARS homepage will appear. Congratulations! You have successfully enrolled in the WAR system. Click OK and the WAR homepage will appear. At this point, you'll now be taken to the Water Use Reporting System homepage. The system provides several options for what you can do in the left-hand menu. For example, update your email or add a license to your profile. Questions about the Water Use Reporting application can be directed to the Regulatory Approval Center. The contact information is on this slide. From this screen, click on the License list to view the licenses. The list is based on the Water Act licenses that you are required to submit water usage for. To submit for a particular license, the user must first double-click on the blue licensee name. Once a license is selected from the license list, the license locations are displayed along with the license menu options. Once a license or multiple licenses is selected from the previous screen, this screen will appear displaying the licenses. The WAR system will automatically populate the license with the required reporting attributes. For example, if the license is a groundwater license, water levels and water chemistry data will need to be submitted. Frequency of reporting, example monthly, will also appear. The user can now begin to report their water use. You can submit data by selecting the Add Submission button in the License menu options. WERS will request the water data in various forms depending on the license requirements. Water usage, levels and chemical data are all submitted using the Add Submission button and the specific form. By clicking on the location, the system will present to you with that location's details. You should now be able to access the WAR system and enter your water use data. If any of the steps that we have talked about are still unclear, or you want to refresh your memory prior to entering onto the system again, please refer to one of the manuals available online from Alberta Environment's WARS homepage. If you require any assistance with Alberta Secure Access Service registration, Call or email the help desk. The contact information is shown on the screen. If you require any assistance with the water use reporting enrollment, contact Alberta Environment at the number shown on the screen. This concludes our stepwise guide to accessing WARS. We hope this video presentation has helped make online access, registration, and reporting quick and easy for you. This video is developed and sponsored by the Alberta Water Council. The Council greatly appreciates the cooperation of its partners in the preparation of this video, including Alberta Environment and the Alberta Urban Municipalities Association.